lo and behold, the Sword of Brilliant Valor. Are you sure? Looks kind of basic to Paimon, and a little worse for wear, too. Why would hilly trolls be bowing down before a piece of junk like this? Uh, uh, seems somebody tossed an old sword into a pile of spoils these hilly trolls were already celebrating. This is in terrible shape, and it's so basic, I... <sighs> I'm at a loss for words. Hmm... Say, Jack, have you ever seen an Animo crystal fly? They're found in the open country around Mondstadt City. If you saw one in broad daylight, you wouldn't bat an eyelid. But in the pitch blackness of night, its brilliant glow is mesmerizing. It truly resembles an exquisite crystal dancing in the night air. Is Valor not the same? When everything is going your way, it seems meaningless. Fades into the background. But when you're in dire straits, valor is the thing that gets you fired up and fighting back. It's the brilliant ray of light that guides you out from the darkness. You're right. You're right. Then this has to be it. This is the sword of brilliant valor. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, we got our sword. Now we just need that shield. Let's scout around. It's definitely in Dada Upa Gorge, so... Uh, huh? There's somebody there! Stanley? What's he doing here? He's acting so weird. What happened? Why did you stop all of a sudden? Huh? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Just one of those Mora spouting weasel thieves pass by is all. What? Where? I, I want to see. <laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> we have a shield to find, remember? Lo and behold, the shield of magnificent honor. Liar, liar, pants on fire. It's a chunk of wood. A chunk of scrap wood with the handle attached. Who in their right mind would use this as a shield? There's also wine stains on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was just taken from a wine barrel. And yet, my bard's intuition tells me that this is none other than the Shield of Magnificent Honor. Warriors wear their battle scars with pride, and shields are no different. Surely an intact shield is one that has shied away from the battlefield. Is not the broken and splintered shield the one that has fought in countless wars and lived to tell the tale? Though the soldier's body be tired and torn, still they fight till the very end, till they have no blood left to bleed. Such magnificent strength of will. Is that not the true meaning of honor? You do have a point. Shiny new shields don't stay new and shiny for long. Okay then. Well, maybe if we ask nicely, he'll just let us take the shield of magnificent honor for free. Ahem. Excuse me, Mr. Hilly Churl? Nala. Well, okay, you take it from here. Hope you've picked up some Hilly Churlian by now. If not, there's always body language. Masimita. Seems cheerful enough. Maybe negotiating will work after all. Uh-oh. He did not seem to appreciate that. Uh-oh. He did not seem to appreciate that. Oh no. We ticked him off big time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Money, yeah. Hey! He dropped the Shield of Magnificent Honor and ran! Guys, thank you so much! I can't believe I actually found them! Mom, Dad, check out the legendary weapons I found! 
Hey, wait! The wine, you promised! Duh, and I actually helped a lot this time. Hmm? What are you doing here, Stanley? Out for a stroll? Uh, <laughs> uh hey, hey, <laughs> what are you doing here, Bard? Fancy that, huh? You, um, uh, out for a stroll, too? Oh, that's right. An after-dinner stroll, to be precise. We were also helping a friend look for something. Paimon's starting to think Stanley might be a fraud. Did Stanley plant the sword and shield here in advance so as to not hurt Jack's feelings? Adventurers must be pretty familiar with Dada Upa Gorge. You fought battles here before, after all. <laughs> you better believe it. I can navigate this whole area with my eyes closed. Wow. Then I admire your perseverance. And your memory, too. It's only to be expected of a great adventurer like me. You guys had better watch out, though. This place is crawling with hillichurros. I, uh... I'll get back to my, um, uh, stroll now. Goodbye. Guilty conscience much? Well, he shouldn't have gotten so carried away bragging to Jack, should he? Although, on further reflection, I must say I'm intrigued. Someone who can't let go of the past and gives up on the present instead. I wonder, if such a person was forced to take their first step towards the future, which way would they go? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just musing to myself. Anyway, I propose we take a trip to Angel's Share tonight. <laughs> <laughs>